This is Martholm Greenway, which is an old railway line. And today we've come here to run a training course for local people who are going to learn the basics of dry stone walling. The emphasis is on building strength into the wall. And there's a few ways we can do that. The wall's built with two faces, so the hearting supports those two faces. And the saying is, each stone should do its duty by its neighbour, so you're trying to get as much contact with every stone you place and support everything as you build. For people who are starting out, there's always a temptation to want to build a wall quickly. So like you start in the morning, you want to finish it by the end of the day, but that comes with time. What you really want to do initially is build very, very sturdy walls. So do your basics over and over again until they're second nature, pretty much. The whole idea behind involving people in dry stone walling is not just so that they can learn a new craft, but it's also to help us to preserve these fantastic walls from the past, which not only have an aesthetic value, but they've also got a purpose. It isn't a dying art. There's more and more people getting involved in it. There's definitely work out there for dry stone wallers. And it's so important that we keep these treasured inheritances, if you like, that also serve a practical purpose for today. There's a great satisfaction in building something as well, especially when you think it's going to be around 100 years or more, hopefully we've built it right. It's enjoyable stuff that gives you satisfaction as you do it and at the end of whatever you're doing. So I love it to bits. <laughs> I wouldn't do anything else.